Madison Great Northwest for the final four. Four teams harboring a dream of winning the national championship here at the Kingdome come Monday night. Oklahoma State and UCLA on tap in the first national semifinal. Hi, everybody. I'm Jim Nance, and it's great to have you with us here on Super Saturday. The UCLA Bruins into the regular season ranked number one in the polls, and they are the favorite here at the Final Four. However, Oklahoma State arrives in Seattle wearing the glass slipper. And yesterday at the shoot-around, Big Country was wearing out the glass backboards. He shattered the backboard. You've probably seen it by now, and they have shattered the dreams of four other teams here in the tournament as we look at their road to Seattle through Drexel. Alabama, Wake, and UMass. In fact, the last three games, they've come from behind in the second half to advance. Meanwhile, for UCLA, the Bruins, the number one seed in the West, as they now take the floor, led by Tyus Edney. Missouri found out about Edney in round two, and then Mississippi State and UConn, the victims of the Bruins, back in the final four for the first time since 1980. Billy, I'm going to give you the glass because I know you're the one guy who can market that piece. Well, I'll tell you one thing. If big country takes them to the final game and wins the championship, it'll be like gold in Oklahoma. It's a big diamond right there. I guarantee you. And big country's been just outstanding so far in this tournament, hasn't he? He really has, Jim, and can take in consideration the centers that he's played against so far in the NCAA tournament. He has been outstanding. You can see the inside power move. Likes to turn, obviously, off his left shoulder, and we'll see some defense against that today. That's what people love about the Cowboys. They got it inside, and then they have it outside with Randy Rutherford. Very interesting team with two primary scorers. Rutherford really has no limit to the range on his jump shot. The thing that is most spectacular, however, he's the number two rebounder on this club. Very unusual combination. All right, Billy, let's get to the X's and O's for the Cowboys. First screen opposite for them. They have great spacing in their offense. And watch this. Rutherford in the low post will screen up high, trying to get big country to come down low. And then coming off this screen where he puts a body on him, he'll get the second screen from Pierce and then roll out to the top and get that patented turnaround jumper. And as I said, there is no limit to his range. You know, Billy, UCLA has lost only two games this season. They are riding the 17-game win streak, the longest win streak for the Bruins since that storied 88-game streak that came to a halt in 1974. One reason why they've been so tough, Ed O'Bannon, first-team All-America. A fifth-year senior and a guy that everybody is pulling for in this tournament because everybody knows about the terrible knee injury he suffered as he came in with such great promise. But he can score with the best of them. And, of course, Tyus Edney, he ties this team together, Jim. He hits people in the open court, blazing speed. We know about his heart and his ability to take it down and take the big shot when it counts. This is senior leadership at its very best. Billy, this game is a classic matchup of contrasting styles. Let's talk about the Bruin penetration. Here we're going to see an out-of-bounds play, but Edney makes the play. We'll see a screen away. Edney comes over the top. When he gets the ball, watch how he has the tremendous ability to find the open man. He really passes up the first option here. Here he is catching the ball, makes his fake, dribble penetration. Not the first option, dumps it in between two, and then there's Bailey for the put away. All right, the final four just minutes away. Starting lineups coming up for Oklahoma State and UCLA. CBS Sports coverage of the 1995 NCAA Men's Basketball National Semifinal Game is sponsored by Mercedes-Benz, Paul Sport Body Quencher, an official NCAA corporate partner, and by Sprint. We've got everything you need to let you be there now. Honor. It's a privilege to introduce the voice of the Final Four for the 18th year out of the Southwest, ladies and gentlemen, Frank Fallon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Kingdom for today's first national semifinal game between the Oklahoma State Cowboys and the UCLA Bruins. And now let's meet the starting lineups. For Oklahoma State, at forward is 6'6", senior from Joliet, Illinois, number 32, Terry Collins. For UCLA, at forward is 6'8", senior from Lakewood, California, number 31, Ed O'Bannon. For Oklahoma State at forward, a 6'9 senior from Euless, Texas, number 20, Scott Pierce. For UCLA, 
Ballet at forward is 6'6 sophomore from Lakewood, California, number 13, Charles O'Bannon. For Oklahoma State at center is 7-foot senior from Gans, Oklahoma, number 50, Bryant Reeves. For UCLA at center is 7-foot senior from Prague in the Czech Republic, number 25, George Zedek. For Oklahoma State at guard is 6'3", senior from Broken Bow, Oklahoma, number 15, Randy Rutherford. Six five freshman from Los Angeles, California, number 12, Toby Bailey. For Oklahoma State at guard, a 5'11", junior from South Bend, Indiana, number 35, Andre Owens. For UCLA at guard, a 5'10", senior from Long Beach, California, number 11, Tyus Edney. And the coaches for Oklahoma State in his fifth season, Eddie Sutton. For UCLA in his seventh season, Jim It is time before tip-off to bring in the Packer points for this game. Billy, take it away here. What to look for? Well, Jim, 14 feet, 600 pounds. I'm talking about what's going to be in the lane today. Brian Reeves, George Zidick. Look for Zidick to, to really stay on Reeves' left shoulder and force him to go the other direction. The lethal weapon, of course, we're talking about the Big A's all-time great three-point shooter, Randy Rutherford. He's a guy that has got to get the offense going for OSU. The tortoise and the hare, really the key story of this game. Which team can force the other guy to play their game? Obviously, both like to play a different style. And then we have number four, the freshman factor. Mike Krzyzewski mentioned this. What will freshmen do in a game like this? Do they play like freshmen, or do they forget all about it and have another super outing? Billy, the officials for the first semifinal. And congratulations to this group. Qualifying here also, Dick Paparo, Tom Lopes, Andre Patillo. Bob Donato, the standby official for game one today. Ed O'Bannon and his brother Charles, the first set of brothers to start in the final four since the McCrays back in 1983 in Albuquerque. Jim, a lot of people may remember that those two brothers were on the Louisville team in 80 when they won the championship, but Scooter didn't get a chance to play. No four seed, which we're talking about Oklahoma State here, has ever played for a national championship. Georgia lost in 83, Georgia Tech and Arkansas in 90, and Cincinnati in 92. UCLA controls it first. And the man defense from Oklahoma State. A lot of screening. Edney with a whistle. Draws the foul from the Cowboys. Great man-to-man -man defense by Oak State, but Edney, Jim, with dribble penetration, what we showed early on, something that he is so good at, Owens picks up the quick foul early. Edney's been to the foul line this year, Jim, 171 times. For a guy that has the great turnover assist ratio, that is absolutely terrific. And of course, a 76% shooter, so it shows how he can finish it off. First team, all packed in. Mr. Clutch in this year's NCAA tournament. And coming off the disappointing loss last year, that back problem really hurt not only Edney, but UCLA's chances in last year's tournament against Tulsa. Well, interestingly enough, in last year's tournament, both of these teams were eliminated by Tulsa. In Oklahoma City, UCLA in the first round. Uh, Tulsa defeated, and then round two, they took out Big Country and Company, the Golden Hurricane. Pierce, a man who has been up and down, screen away, a foul call. Quick whistles in this game, Jim. Well, that time they got Rutherford for setting a moving pick. 
Again, adjustments will have to be made by coaches quickly, particularly Oak State that does not have a very deep bench. If they get guys in serious foul trouble, it'll be a problem. Edney in traffic. Pierce is defending O'Bannon. Tough shot. And Big Country snares it. You see Pierce get out and running. Owens not wanting to turn this into a up and down game, so they pull it up to go to their half court set. Collins steps in. And Reeves let it slip away. Oklahoma State has not attempted a shot in its first two trips. Tim, one of the things about teams that get to the Final Four, they are usually on great defensive runs. And we're seeing two teams playing heads up man to man right now, shutting their opponent out. Edney. Wow. Billy, that's been the common thread, though, for the four teams that made it here. Shutting down the opponent. UMass shot a season low against Oklahoma State. Scott Pierce and the Cowboys are on the board. Owens comes right back to Edney. Look at Edney try to follow some traffic. Well, Pierce almost reached in and got a steal. Owens doing a smart thing. He's trying to keep the ball away from Edney. Going the other way. They call the charge on Bailey. He dipped the shoulder, and they whistled him for it. Don't want to jump to the second game, Jim, but if the game is called like this with a very fast whistle, it'll have a lot to do with the outcome. This game is very tightly officiated early on. Little switch right there. Good job by Charles O'Bannon picking up Rutherford. There's that 600 pounds inside banging each other. And there they battle for the first time, and Zedek got him with the body. Zedek fighting, and there we talked about it. 14 feet, 600 pounds. Why he jumped over there on the left side, I don't know, because that's something Eddie Sutton talked about. He wants him on his left shoulder all night, forcing him to go back, use that left hand side. Reeves almost 70% from the line this season. Been a huge game against Alabama. McDice, who is going to be one of the premier players in the country last year, was a lot for anybody to handle. He played 40 minutes against Alabama, 40 against Wake Forest and Tim Duncan, and 40 against Camby and Massachusetts. That's three straight games playing the whole way and probably would have been the first one, but he fouled out against Drexel. Malik Rose was much smaller and tough for him to guard. Zedek with the hook. And don't be surprised to see more of the hooks from Zedek. He has really developed the old style Kareem Jabbar sky hook. Three pointer nailed by Rutherford. Bailey's got to get out there and respect that depth of that jump shot. O'Bannon into Zedek. Oak State comes out of the pack, and Bailey picks up his second. This is the old-fashioned style hook shot. Well, we talked about Oak State. Bob Curlin, George Mikan back in the 40s. Obviously, they didn't have to play in the wide lane, but that was the hook shot perfected back in the early 40s and 50s. Owens penetrating, comes up shy. Charles O'Bannon rips it away. Here come the Bruins on the run for the first time, and Collins commits the foul with the body. And Eddie Sutton waves to him. That's not the foul they want. Very difficult to stop Eddie in the open floor area. Defensive court balance is really critical. There's Eddie Sutton. 59-year-old coach in his fifth year at his alma mater. He's taken all five of his clubs here at Oak State to the NCAA tournament. Four different schools in his career to the tournament with Creighton, Arkansas, Kentucky, and Oklahoma State on the list. Edney. So far, Edney feels that he can score against Owen. Owen is going to have to do something to slow him down. Getting too good of shots. Edney has five of the Bruins, seven. And Rutherford let it go out of bounds. Cameron Dollar on him now, looking for some defensive help. Rutherford really should have put two hands on that ball, Jim. And here's Dollar in the game for Bailey, who sits with the two. 
that ought to help Oak State concentration a little bit. They turn their heads to talk. Edney fires to the open man in a hurry. Well, that is the second on the other side for Randy Rutherford. And Keonti Roberts, 6'5", sophomore from Edmond, Oklahoma, comes in. Owens will go out. Rutherford stays on the floor with the two. Eddie Sutton didn't take four teams, four different schools to the NCAA tournament without knowing what he's doing. He sees right away that Edney has been the problem. So he's trying to get some defensive help on him. Owens sits. Cameron Dollar will shoot one more, 6'1", sophomore from Atlanta, Georgia. Eddie Sutton, who played for Coach Iba, Oklahoma State, 1955 through 58. Dollar has some, had some nice offensive gains, but his key to this lineup is defense, so you can expect him on Rutherford. But that puts a tough matchup out there now, Jim, because there is really only one guard in the game. It'll be interesting to see how they try to match up Edney. Cedic being brought to the bench. Trainer, trainer. Cut on his knee. Must be some blood, Billy. So they'll bring in freshman J.R. Henderson. And yeah, cut on the knee for Zedek. So that has to be immediately addressed. Henderson in. Cameron Dollar, because of a lane violation, gets a second opportunity and gets this one to go. It allows UCLA to set up a little press. 2-2-1, two, two, full court. Keontae gets it over to Rutherford. Nice move by Jim Herrick, realizing that the point guard out of the game for Oak State. Roberts tipped to the backcourt by Edney, so no violation. Pierce inside the arc. Reeves tips it up and in. You know, sometimes, Jim, even though that shot didn't go in for Pierce, he set things up. Everybody on this team will have to take some open shots. Edney. And Roberts pulls it down. Cowboys look for the lead on this trip. Tipped out by Charles O'Bannon. A nice little move to set some tempo of their own by Oak State. And here is the putback by Big Country. As we reach our first timeout, Big Country ties it at nine. Do you really think this is the right thing for us to be doing, Ivana? What do your people think? Let them. And Jim Herrick have been very close friends. I know Coach Wooden would like to be here. He's at the McDonald's All-American game this weekend. Collins gives the Cowboys a second chance. Herrick toiled first as a head baseball coach in high school, then the JV basketball coach. There's a putback, and Oak State takes the lead behind Keontae Roberts. Roberts coming off that bench, and look at who is guarding Edney. Roberts on Edney. Let's see if Tyus doesn't take it with a dribble. O'Bannon on the board for the first time, and he does it with a three. Against Connecticut, Ed was 0 for 6 from 3, so a good sign. This is going to be interesting matchup on both ends. Roberts and Edney, he's got to be careful on that dribble. He's trying to help out on big country. Oh, and O'Bannon knocks it right off of Pierce. They rule it the other way. Wrong call. Wrong call. Without question, it hits Pierce's leg. Without question, it hit Pierce's leg. Jason Scare, a 6'7 freshman from Deer Park, Texas, in for the Cowboys. Pierce. Jim, we have some great matchups on the floor right now. Roberts and Edney, and then Henderson on Reeves. I think Reeves can score on Henderson. He's going to take some help, and they're setting him up right now. Four on the shot clock. And he travels with one second left on the shot clock. Poor execution by Oak State. They've got to take advantage of the weight differential between Henderson and Reeves. And now UCLA has to take the advantage of the quickness between Edney and Roberts. Henderson. Charles O'Bannon keeps it alive and won. A great player inside the foul line is an offensive talent. Charles O'Bannon is only six for 29 from three, but you put him inside 15 feet and he can create shots. 
Terrific lift. A lot of moves inside. Scare, who's a good athlete himself, gets caught. O'Bannon, who averages 13 a game, gets the three-point play. Bruins lead by four. Andre Owens returns, the starting point guard. Now that sets up a more traditional matchup of point guards. Roberts really did an interesting job on uh, Edney during that time. Edney really didn't challenge him. Reeves keeps it alive. Surrounded and then stolen by Charles O.B. Edney has it stripped away by Owens. Let's get a quick report now from Michelle Tafoya. Michelle. Well, George Zedek is still on the bench. They taped up his knee pretty well with that cut. It turns out uh, trainer Tony Spino told me they just a scab came off of his knee. He's also got a pretty visible bump on his head that he was holding earlier in the game, but that doesn't seem to be bothering George. Let's send it back to you, Jim. But, Jim, it looks like that what Jim Herrick wants to do is to match speed for speed. So far, he's gotten by with it. Three-pointer. And Billy, you mentioned that he didn't make one against UConn, but he had one game this year where he made seven, tying Reggie Miller's school mark, so he can get it going without with the streaks. That was against Cal. And he makes the steal at the other end. Almost backcourt, great pass. Dollar into the Oh, final four highlight there. Jim, what's happening right now? We talked about which team is going to play at their pace. UCLA is forcing the break. Oak State not getting the ball to Reeves down low. Temple getting too quick. And Dollar almost makes the steal. Bruin basketball, they say. After a brilliant pass, look at Edney underneath. How about the concentration? He was looked right up over the top of his head. Perfect English as he laid up that shot. This is Oklahoma State's biggest deficit of the tournament. They had been down eight against UMass. And a huge nightmare for them. A nine-point lead is like a 15-point lead against a team that wants to play in the 80s. O'Bannon. Oklahoma State has the numbers, so they'll take advantage. Rutherford on a wing. Whoa! Tyus went for that play. I don't know why he went for that block. We got red zone going on here. You at? You know that Rutherford, tremendous athlete, great leaper, terrific rebounder. I don't know why Tyus even challenged it. He took some hit on the floor here. He didn't have the angle. See, Jim, why he went up for the block, I'll never know. Not a good idea in his part. But shows a lot of guts. Well, when Eddie takes a spill like that, the first thing you worry about is how you land on your hands. Without question. To bring Zedek back in. But Jim Herrick talked about taking Edney out of a ball game earlier in his career, and he said, I learned a lesson from Bobby Hurley and Mike Krzyzewski. You just let the guy in there, suck it up for a couple minutes, and go. But he took a heck of a fall there, and with a nine-point lead, he can afford to sit him for a minute or two. Toby Bailey also back in. Rutherford will shoot one more. When we met with Coach Herrick this week, that was kind of his constant theme, Billy. Lessons learned in life. And you mentioned one of them, taking Edney out. Go, go, go. Seemed to be his battle cry, didn't it? That's right. He said he had a good lead against Michigan. Everything was going their way. Decided to rest them and never got the momentum back in the game. Lessons learned in life. Zedek outside. And little Owens underneath. The 5'11 junior pushes it ahead. Rutherford to Reeves. And Henderson. And that'll send Reeves to the line for two. Coming up between games. Pat Quinn and Coach K will hear from the winners and losers from game one. Pat will have a conversation with his airness. Doritos presents Inside the Game with Michael Jordan. Young man who had a uh, pretty good NCAA tournament as a freshman, as we're seeing some freshmen out here tonight. Pretty good, pretty good. What I see, though, Jim, in this game so far is that Eddie Sutton and his game plan to play half court at a time is not working. So far, his team is getting wrapped up in this quickness battle. And even though they've got to take advantage of the numbers sometimes, it does not bode well for them to get in this kind of a running game.
Henderson. Swatted away by Roberts. Robert Rutherford will pull up. Roberts playing very well off the bench. We're really not waiting for Reeves to get position yet. Ooh. Another dangerous pass. Tipped by the Bruins. Ten on the shot clock. Roberts driving beautifully for two. Terrific job off the bench by Roberts. He's doing it on both ends of the floor. So six unanswered for the Cowboys. Wake Forest, 6 out of 8, 13 points, 6 rebounds. Really key. Looking for the hook. Going with the left one this time. Dollar saves it. Working the baseline. Wow, put it up with the left hand. Of Dollar and Esme, Jim. Two miracle layups. Well... 22-17 UCLA, but keep in mind, Oak State got off to a slow start in all four games so far in the tournament. Bradley Rutherford was saying, that's been really a flaw for us all season, but we're a senior team, and if we get down early, we don't fold our tent. Well, you don't win the Big 8 and go through the games they did in the Eastern Regional and ever fold up. Here's travel. I don't know if he did, Jim. I think that... It was an unusual looking play, but I don't think he ever released his pivot foot. And we have a break here. Oak State has turned it over eight times already. Average only 10 turnovers a game in the tournament this year, and already with eight in the first nine minutes. Eddie Sutton first attended a Final Four 40 years ago. Then a student at Oklahoma State, he hitchhiked to Kansas City with some teammates and went up to the ticket window and got tickets as his mom Burrow looks on got tickets for the final between Bill Russell and San Francisco and Tom Gola and LaSalle and then hitchhike home that was 40 years ago I was laying on my couch in Bethlehem Pennsylvania listening to that game on the radio I'd never heard of Bill Russell I was just coming along and there was no way anybody could be better than Tom Gola as we all learned Bill Russell was part of championships for many years to come on the blocks open Reeves got bumped a little bit but that soft touch see how he turned Jim Zedek late getting there but Oak State on that timeout wisely getting the ball to their big guy now Zedek wanting position but UCLA swings it around and he wants to challenge Owens Owens wanted to turn over there he's got to be careful and he got to step on him again they say Henderson came in over the back. Watch the back screen here by Rutherford. Really strong. Dollar tries to do the job by holding up. But Big Country beats him to the spot and then does that customary turn inside. By the way, that foul is the second on Henderson. So two on Henderson, two on Bailey for the Bruins. Two for Rutherford of the Cowboys. Reeves still getting good position inside. Triple team down on him. They are really looking to get it. The big guy really works. Owens lost control of it in the arms of O'Bannon. Four on three, O'Bannon, yes. Brilliant play, Jim. Didn't you think he was gonna pass that thing? Terrific open court movement, and that's one thing UCLA has at almost every position. They've got guys that can put the ball on the floor and take it the length. O'Bannon, one of the best, certainly one of the best forwards in the country at that. Outside, Zedek pushes Reeves, and they say now Zedek bumped them a little too forcefully, so they'll call one on him right there. And for Zedek, that is his second. You watch him getting behind, trying to keep Reeves out. Good strategy here. Get him out a step or two beyond where he wants to shoot. You can see O'Bannon coming down there on the double team, but the foul takes place first. Second on Zedek, seventh on UCLA, so we're in a one and one. Reeves with the one and one. Jim went to the foul line 10 times on McDice, was eight out of 10. You know, after he tore down the backboard yesterday, 
some people asked Zedek, what did he think of Reeves doing that? And he said, that is my dream to take <laughs> their one down. Charles O'Bannon, Toby Bailey will return for UCLA. And you can see Jim Herrick saying, hey, I'm not stopping the guy with my power. See if I can stop him with quickness. So it'll be Henderson back on him again. That'll require a lot of doubling down inside because Reeves certainly has a lot of weight and strength on him and experience. Senior against freshman. 24-21 UCLA and a turnover. Well, let's compare the two big guys with their population. 218 in Gans, a million two in Prague. And we understand George's father's team, club team, is uh, in the championship run. Former national coach for Czechoslovakia. And O'Bannon with another steal. He's having a big game on the defensive end, too. Charles called for the charge. Boy, that was a great jump stop. Pretty good acting job by Collins, but a terrific hit ahead. You can see the good jump stop. Charles probably uh, didn't commit the contact first, but got called. And Jim Herrick didn't like it. Now we're going to take a look at his own for the first time, Jim, by UCLA. Now, look for Randy Rutherford. You've got to be aware of him stepping out for a jumper. There he is. Only two players in history have made more threes in a season than Rutherford. Reeves oh. left open at the free throw line. Well, you go 2-3 zone, and a postman steps up at the foul line and gets a jumper. They've climbed back from nine down, only one back now. Henderson, nice move to the hole, but couldn't finish it. Somebody better come back to the ball. You don't want this man bringing it up. Nice, nice play. Rutherford's open. He'll take the three. Reeves. Got by with a push off. He sure did. Pushed off against Henderson. No whistle. First time he's starting to bend over a little bit, looking for some extra air. But Pierce came. Pierce met the ball. They missed him. Screen on O'Bannon. Back foot on the line. Another turnover. We reach the under eight minute timeout. Bryant Reeves has 12 points. The Cowboys are only one down. Toby Bailey back from Henderson. Freshman to freshman. Well, what did we say? What will the freshmen do? Will they be in awe of this place in the game? Obviously not. Freshman factor very positive for UCLA. See, Collins doesn't want the shot, Jim. Reeves does. And Pierce follows. They missed two chippies. And they've got the numbers going the other way. Spin away by Edney and behind the back that worked against Missouri. Another spin move, and he'll head to the line for a couple. That's another foul on Owens. Here we see a great give and go by the two outstanding freshmen from UCLA. Give it, get it back, cut to the basket. That's as old as the peach basket. Terrific play. Yancey Roberts returns. He's given them some effective minutes. Off the bench. That's the second on Owens. And now the slippery Tyus Edney after some nifty ball handling. Jim, the zone is really creating some problems for Oak State in the fact that Rutherford, who they want to get shots from the perimeter, is running baseline. UCLA has flattened out the zone, meaning they're moving it from a 2-3 with everybody concentrating on the baseline, leaving open shots on the perimeter right out front, but nobody is looking to take it. Now watch what happens when Rutherford goes to baseline. See, there's a shot for Collins. There's a shot for Owens, but there's no shot for anybody else. There it is. Owens, three-pointer, much needed. That's what was open. You think it, Edney takes Owens again, Jim, try to pick up another foul? <laughs> Look at that. Inside, Edney spotted Charles, put it up quickly. 
what made that play was the great spacing by UCLA. Again, without Zidic in the middle, everybody can play and surround the defense. Deontay Roberts, free throw, line. He's having an excellent game. <laughs> Ed O'Bannon. Rutherford slaps the rebound. There's that unusual combination. Great three-point shooter and second leading rebounder from the guard position. See what like Corey back of Arkansas. Yeah, exactly. Very unusual. And he can't get a shot against his zone. Collins has to take it. Two open. Three-pointer. Hurt his ankle. Came down on his ankle. He's on the floor. The other end, Charles O'Bannon lays it in. They'll have a whistle now. Nothing they could do about it. Here he comes down. We see it so often. Landed, Landed right, right on Bailey. Yep. yep, right on the ankle. We've got the under four-minute timeout. UCLA, four-point lead of one man, Randy Rutherford, over in the corner. Look at how the UCLA zone gets flattened out behind the foul line. That means that somebody's going to be open on the wing. Watch what happens. Owens got the shot. So even though Rutherford does not get the assist, he really ought to be credited with something. But because of his great outside shooting, UCLA had to respect it on the baseline. And Collins on the next trip knocked down a three but landed on the right ankle, right off the foot of Bailey. You think he'll be back, though, Billy? I really do. As a senior player, you know, you don't save anything. And the way he got up and walked off, I think he'll be back in this game. He's the best friends with Bryant Reeves and his roommate on the road. Two seniors. Owens has got to take up some slack here. Wow, that was up there. Reeves brought it down a second time. Mr. Tim, he's a very deceiving young man. With all that bulk, he has very soft hands, even in traffic. So he uses his body to ward you off and the great hands to hang on. There's that very serious foul. They got a hand check on the other end, which is the third on Owens. But look at look the those soft hands. In a soft touch, too. Oh, yeah. A dilemma on the other end. But let's uh, look at the second try here by Reeves. Look at the concentration, two inside, putting that ball back up. Well, that's the third on Owens, that hand check. One and one. I am really surprised with 2.46 to go that Eddie Sutton's leaving him in. Roberts did a pretty nice job on Eddie. Eddie didn't try to penetrate on him. Be a very serious problem if Owens picks up another one, and Eddie's smart enough player to challenge him. Matter of fact, John Wooden called Michael Warren the smartest player he ever had and says, Eddie reminds me of Michael Warren. So that's a pretty good indication that he knows how to play this game. <laughs> Telegraph the pass. Eddie trying to get it ahead. Owens back. And then O'Bannon has it stripped away. Call it a block. Jim, Deontay Roberts has had an excellent first half. You know, he's really the key as to how Oak State's been able to stay in here. Rutherford, who hasn't really got on track. Edney three. Kind of off balance. pulled down but by Scare. You can see the lack of experience from Scare. He had the numbers, but I bet you he's been preached to. We don't want to be in a running game. So as a freshman, he waited on everybody. He really had the numbers. Reeves. Now Henderson looks over at his coach and said, you told me to turn him back to that side. He makes the shot anyway. They figured he makes 90% of his shots turning left. Right. But not that time. Big country with 16, and it's a two-point ball game. UCLA in front. There's Edney going to use Owens a little. Henderson too strong, and Owens thought about it for a moment of running. 
The big country was like a policeman there. He put his hand out and said, stop. I want to rest a little bit. They'll have to give it up, though. They go to a little four corners here. A little different offensive set. Ten on the shot clock. Draws the whistle. I'm going to tell you the experience of big country realizing Henderson can't handle him with size, taking advantage of him. That foul on Henderson, his third. And let's get a quick report from Michelle Tafoya. Well, guys, Terry Collins, I've been told, has a sprained ankle. The training staff wrapped him up, and as Billy mentioned, he will come back in this game, but that right ankle has been sprained. Jim? All right, we have another player now saddled with three fouls. It's the freshman J.R. Henderson for UCLA. Zedek in for him now. Jim, Owens has three fouls. You've got 34 seconds to go. He's matched up with Edney. You know Edney's going to have the ball. I am really surprised that Eddie Sutton has not taken him out of the game. I mean, that would be a very cheap foul to pick up, but very serious for his club. This free throw for the tie. And they're on the mark for a mid-70 game, so neither team has really established the tempo they want yet. A little higher score than what Oak State might want, a little lower score than UCLA. Well, Edney really knows how to shine in these last second situations. Remember the UConn first half coming to a close? But again, the serious problem here for Owens is how do you stop him and not pick up another foul? Can Edney do it again before the buzzer? Right. Well, gave up his dribble. Yep. O'Bannon from the corner. And we're going to the locker room with a tie ball game. UCLA led by nine at one time. Cowboys fought back to within one. And then it went back to an eight-point lead. And the Cowboys catch them at the intermission now at 37 all. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship will continue after this message and a word from your local station. CBS Sports coverage of the 1995 NCAA Men's Basketball National Semifinal Game is sponsored by Oldsmobile, the official car of the NCAA Championships, Cellular One, and by Nike, who encourages you to participate in the lives of America's youth. I just thought the interior game pretty much went to Oklahoma State. They had 19 rebounds to 8, and that makes a big difference. Big country, 16 points. I think that's what makes a difference. Coach? I think that it's Oklahoma State's tough-mindedness comes into play because the quickness of UCLA just really knocked them back, but they held their ground. Let's take a look at a play that you uh, drew up from the first half here. Well, this is a perfect example of their defense. They get something off the turnover here, Charles O'Bannon gets the ball and they have two point guards in. Cameron Dower gets the ball here. Edney's going to fill the lane. So we get the ball to Cameron Dower. Watch Edney fill the lane. A different role for him. He maintains great focus and finishes a great play. That's part of their 16 points off of turnovers in the first half. You, you know, the, the thing that I like about this team is their overall team speed. You use the term, it's intimidating. Right. They change from offense to defense as good as anybody in basketball. It's uh, springtime, as we all know, and that can only mean one thing at the Final Four, the Chevrolet MVPs. And yesterday, Michelle Tafoya did the honors for us. Hello, everyone. I'm Michelle Tafoya. Today, we conclude the 1994-95 edition of the Chevrolet Scholarship Program with the presentation of the Player and Coach of the Year Awards, as selected by the CBS Sports staff. Here with me to present the awards is Jeff Hurlburt, Chevrolet's general marketing manager. Nice to have you back, Jeff. Thanks, Michelle. At Chevrolet, we've always been the you. Chevrolet Player of the Year. Thank you very much. I would like to thank Chevrolet and CBS Sports for this fine award. To be in the same company with the players across the nation who are considered for this award is, a, is an honor in itself. I want to share this award with my teammates, especially my brother Charles, uh, my fellow senior uh, teammates, Tyus Edney and George Zedek. Without the direction and guidance from Coach Jim Herrick and his staff, none of this would have been possible. This is a very special moment for my family, my mom, my dad, my girlfriend Rosa, and our son Aaron. Speaking as a college student, 
Uh, I'd like to thank Chevrolet for donating thousands of dollars each year to the universities across the nation. The students who annually benefit from these donations are the real winners. And now that 90% of Coach Katie's players graduate from Purdue University. Congratulations, Coach Katie. It's my pleasure to present you with this trophy as a Chevrolet Coach of the Year and a $2,500 general scholarship check to Purdue University. Thank you, Jeff. One of the things we talked about at the top of the show, Reeves certainly getting advantage in the paint. He's been outstanding, 18.6 rebounds. Zedek does not have a rebound yet in this game. Big advantage, Oak State. Now, the lethal weapon has not scored yet, but as I pointed out on one of those replays, Rutherford at one for three from three-point range is spreading out the zone. Tortoise in the hair, this is really a key. Neither team yet to establish their pattern of game. We've got a game on mark for about a 75-point total, and therefore I would say it's right in the middle. Freshmen have not yet been a factor, but they haven't been a negative either. Bailey has two fouls, Henderson with three at halftime, and uh, how about positioning against Reeves? Well, we talked about being on the left shoulder. Zedek, who's a GPE All-American with a 7.8 average, has got to remember the difference between right and left. So Zedek without a rebound in the first half. Charles O'Bannon leads the Bruins with 11 points. The O'Bannons shooting-wise as they've combined for 19 points at halftime. Charles, five for six from the floor, has been outstanding inside 15 feet. Brother Ed hit a couple on the perimeter. One thing, Oklahoma State was forced into 14 first half turnovers. They had 10 really early, Jim. They really settled down the last 10 minutes and a half. They jammed big country that time. Got out of the zone, they're back to the man-to-man. -to -man. Owens, who hit his last three, not this time. Ed O'Bannon, strong hands, pulls it down. Good two-handed rebound. I said Collins would be back in there, Jim. Good strip. a great track star in high school. It's good to see him back out there. State hurdling champion in Illinois. There's that quickness. Yep, well, off that tender ankle, he still buries a three. He's running well on it, though, Jim. And that's the Cowboys' first lead since 11-9. Now, one of the things that's interesting that UCLA will have to face now, this is going to have to be a grind them out game. Pierce, yeah, Pierce got hold. caught. It looks like a grind them out type game. You know, not one of those that you can blow away, but one of the things that's interesting, we are still playing that mind game. They do have that ability to make those 10-0 runs. You know, 12-2 type runs. So Oak State, with their great ability to spread things out, get back on defense, has to be very careful in that regard. O'Bannon takes off. That is called that time on Pierce again, his second. And we can see now the brackets with Carolina and Arkansas. Game two between a pair of two seeds. ACC, SEC, last week, Carolina had an opportunity to play against Kentucky, who's had, I think, some of the great games played this year have been those Kentucky-Arkansas games, Jim. Great teams uh, battling each other right down to the wire. Last second shots. So two outstanding leads, probably the two best leagues in the country this year, sending premier teams against each other. Oh, in the lane. And they Zedek, lose it. Yep, Zedek in the lane. Now he doesn't have a rebound, and he's taking away a foul shot. You can see him get, he gets leaning, and he can't pull himself back. Owens operating with the three fouls. Roberts, who had the outstanding first half. Three for three. Fade away, big country. Roberts, no whistle over the back. It was clean. Double down by Edney. They are not doubling down with Rutherford's man, though. 
Cedic called for that one. That's his third. Now, Jim, what, what Oak State could do is they're doubling Edney down off of Owens to help out. You can see him right there, which means that Bailey stays on Rutherford. What should happen is Edney's man should go screen Bailey, and then Rutherford would be open for a jump shot. Give Rutherford credit for being very patient in this game, however. He's not looking to take any bad shots. Probably why he hits such a good percentage. There's the step out. Shot clock at three. Wild will put up. No whistle. Bruins on foul. break. Bailey will pull up. Now he'll take it in. Ed plus one. One of the things that makes UCLA so dangerous is the ability to catch the ball in traffic. Charles O'Bannon, Ed O'Bannon, Bailey, Henderson. This is a tough pass and only works because you have guys that can make catches in traffic. Look at the concentration by Ed O'Bannon. Three-point play ties it. 40. Sub back in. Pierce, who was whistled for a couple of quick fouls at the start of this half. Gets back into the game for Collins. UCLA now will pick up full court pressure. Haven't been able to do that much. If you don't get to that foul line, Jim, and make them, you can't get the best opportunity to put your press on. 2-2-1. Two, two, Edney sh shading over there on Rutherford. Boy, Reeves really making Zedek work down inside. He is a load. Rutherford, the man from Broken Bow, Oklahoma, another small town. He's got a smaller man on him now. They, they're wanting to throw the lob to him. Got to beat the shot clock. Rutherford, short that time. Slap it back out, and they say last touch by Oklahoma State. Rutherford is really not a guy, Jim, despite his quickness, that can get the shot off off the dribble. He requires the screen, and so far today, he hasn't been able to get it. He's a man who lit up Kansas for 45 in one game. Eddie Sutton called it the best performance by any guard he ever coached in one game. And that he is has had game. some good ones. That is a game where Big Country did not score. Oh, Zobanen. I didn't know how he'd get that one off. Came all the way under the backboard. UCLA regains the lead 42-40. There's the screens. Had the shot. Steps in instead. Boom. Rejected by Ed. And here they come. Ed, they cross court. Charles, pull up. This is the kind of run we talked about. So explosive. Seven unanswered for the Bruins. Good job fighting over those screens. Down to eight seconds. Got to keep the dribble. Rutherford will get it off in time. Reeves just in the right place, that one. Next whistle will be the under-16 TV timeout. and Bailey fights through it again. Boy, this kid's doing a nice job on defense. Reeves lost control of it. Here they come. Four on three. Give it up. Zedek travel. Oh, what a collision. The walk on Zedek, but he the foul was after the violation. Traveling and a timeout on the floor. Jim, and Keontae see. Roberts just now getting to the Oklahoma State bench, Billy. We can see what happens to him 
There's a walk on the play. One pass, maybe too many. Zedek walks. Roberts blocks the shot, comes down hard, and then Zedek comes right down on his hip. He was on the floor for quite some time and obviously being worked on by the trainer. Cowboys only one out of eight from the field in this half, and that was a three by Terry Collins. Pretty soon they got to figure a way to get Randy Rutherford open. And a turnover. There was a case. Footwork. Pretty good balance by Big Country, but the pass thrown too wide. But I, I really think, Jim, at this point, with Keontae Roberts, who had six points in the first half, Oak State has got to get some offense out of Rutherford. Rutherford only one for seven from the field in this game. Seating. Nice little pump fake. This is a 9-0 run. 9-0 run for UCLA. Two-man game inside. Rutherford trying to find a way to get free. Double up Reeves. There's a rebound for Zedek. His first. UCLA on the other end is four for four in this half. Zedek did not have a rebound in the Missouri game, but he had ten points in that one. Talked about runs. Eddie Sutton has to get very serious now. Down eight. Got to figure out a way to get Rutherford the ball. And only one field goal in six and a half minutes of the half for the Cowboys. Bailey putting on a pretty good defensive show. He just won't accept the screen. Right when they needed it. Plus one. Reeves going to the line has not missed one there yet today got his name big country from Byron Houston the all-time leading scorer and rebounder from Oak State a man he's chasing in that regard but there's that body power and going back to his left shoulder again in an exchange of words after the whistle Zedek picks up his fourth Billy so trying to Trying to man up Reeves. They've got four on Zedek and three on Henderson, his backup. Here you see him battling in the inside. 14 feet, 600 pounds. Arm combat in there. Excellent job. But when they come back with Henderson, more quickness to the floor. But Zedek, he, too, is in foul yes trouble, really. Zedek's job just to keep pushing the big country around, make him work hard. But as we pointed out, the man's played three straight games of 40 minutes. So he proved he can stand the test for that stamina. And the big man's nine for nine at the line. Henderson's got a shot from there. Barry Collins pulls it down. Nice pass by Collins, too, because he was falling out of bounds. Doesn't he have some quick hands or quick hands, huh? Man, as quick as you'll ever see. See, Rutherford can't beat a man with the dribble. That really hurts him as a scorer in a situation like this. Collins misfiring, and Edney had position. Kind of lost control of it off the fingertips. Owens ahead. Nice. Rutherford pushed from behind by Charles O'Bannon. Terrific defensive balance, though, by UCLA with their outstanding quickness. If that should have been an easy two on a break. They just wouldn't give it up. Jason Scare, six seven freshman, back in for Collins. Charles O'Bannon's second whistle. At the conclusion of every NCAA tournament game, we select the Chevrolet players of the game in conjunction with the award, $1,000 to the General Scholarship Fund of both schools. Rutherford is not finding it right now. Uh, he hasn't been able to get in any rhythm. Again, uh, credit Bailey this. with great defense. Keontae Roberts with a bruised right hip, we hear. Back in there, though, for Pierce. You know, Jim, something interesting about all four teams that are in the Final Four this year, all four lost their conference opener. 
What a way to start a season and yet end up in the Final Four, huh? After Oklahoma State lost its conference opener, Eddie Sutton said at that time he really wasn't even sure if his team would make the NIT. Amazing. And here they are in the Final Four. Four down to the Bruins with 12 minutes of change remaining. The defensive consistency is there. Rattling out. Charles Obana may have gotten away with over the back. Henderson. Nice officiating there. They let him play. No advantage game. Cowboys with a little run of their own. Double screen. Henderson's long arms pick that off. Had to be a bounce pass to get underneath him. Rutherford can't ask for a better shot than that no. one. No, and the second one would have been fine, too. And they suffer. Three on three, but on a wing open. There it is. He needs to get one now. No, and count it. There it is, Jimmy. Pulled up on the outside in the wing. It wasn't clean, but it counts, and the confidence gets a boost. That was a Sean Respert, only from the opposite side. You know how he likes to run down on the left and shoot the jumper from Michigan State? It's a smart move by Respert. Just seven, staying out there. Seven unanswered now for Oklahoma State. Toby Bailey, he'll take it. Out called on Keontae Roberts, who fouled out of the game against UMass early in the second half last week. And we've got a timeout on the floor. Cowboys have fought back from eight time, eight down this time, and now only one. Edney open three. Chance to go ahead, Jim. Oak State who has Oklahoma A&M won back-to-back -back championships in the NCAA. First team ever to do that, playing against the club that set all kinds of records 10 and 12 years that we probably won't ever see topped again. Winning the championship 50 years ago and 49 years back. Reeves. Oh, boy. We boy, talked the ball about was kind of coming loose there for a minute and he regained control and the Cowboys have the lead. That's those soft hands we talked about before rebounding that time getting it back in that position to shoot. Nine point run by Oklahoma State. Whistle away from the ball. Roberts on Ed O'Bannon. Here we see the push it on the inside. Roberts is going to try to prevent him from getting to the ball. Gain an advantage with a defensive hand check. Gets called. Henderson outside. Beautiful shot. The freshman can score. He averages 10 a game and had his best scoring effort right here in the state of Washington. Against Washington State, he had 28. He was 9 for 12 against Connecticut, 8 for 12 against Florida International. He's been shooting over 70% in the NCAA tournament. They go back to the 2-3 zone. Remember, we saw this the second part of the first half. Collins has hit a couple of threes. Not this one, though. UCLA with the one-point lead, eight and a half remaining. Now you've got the two point guards in the game. Rutherford on Dollar. I think the O'Bannon's have played against enough to make that pass. Edney fouled by Big Country. Tim, this is what I don't think Tyus has taken advantage of with Owens in that foul trouble. That's the way the first half should have ended. Put the ball on the floor, dribble. He cannot afford to reach in. You watch Tyus goes right by Owens. I think he can beat him on the dribble. We saw that right at the start of the game. Puts all kinds of defensive pressure on big country inside. Get him up, man. Get him up. Stop, stop. 
13 points for Ty Assetti. That foul on Reeves was his first, while Zedek sits with four. Oak State has just so many lives, Jim, giving up these leads and coming back. Well, the Bruins are on a little five-point run of their own. Henderson, they say, too much contact. You know, it's kind of interesting. We have the McDonald's All-American game tomorrow. I'll, be, I'll mention about this young man last year at this time. Well, he has four now also. We'll be right back. There it is, the third one down. Zedek and Henderson with four fouls each, Billy. Well, Jim, right now you have eight minutes to go. Uh, the decision is to leave Henderson in the game. I, you know, I would think that put Zedek back in the game, you want a better ball handler at the end and a better free throw shooter. The other thing I was mentioning about Henderson in last year's McDonald's game, he was not selected. Should have been. Yeah, was, well, he was not. He was working for yeah. McDonald's at the time. You know, so here's a guy with an employee, maybe... Maybe he was ineligible because he was an employee with the company. I would think he'd make maybe not the McDonald's All-America, but the <laughs> McDonald's All-Star team anyway, right? <laughs> At least in the local store club. Back to the 2-3 zone. Bruin leading by four. 53-49. Ah, not a good pass. And stolen by Henderson. Dollar with a valiant try to save it, but out of bounds. One of the things when you play against an Eddie Sutton club, it is so difficult to break against them because they have great floor balance defensively. And that's what happened to UCLA. They very seldom give you numbers coming down on the brink. Problem here, primarily only one outside shooter. Beautiful pass. Robert left open in the lane. Jim, he hadn't missed a shot yet today. Yancey Roberts, the perfect four for four. Under seven remaining, 53-51. Edney as a team leader trying to get everybody involved in the game, but I still think that he could put the ball on the floor and penetrate more. He has not challenged Owens as much this half. There he goes, until now. Uh -oh. Owens reached in and popped it loose. Roberts on the floor. Roberts. He gets the foul, pushing off on Dollar after he got it knocked away. Billy coming up between games. Michael Jordan with Doritos inside the game. Talking about some of the classic buzzer beaters in this tournament and some of his other thoughts about playing in the final four. A lot of people forget Michael Jordan's last game as an NCAA tournament player. That's his fourth going out, Pierce in. It was Michael Jordan's game in 1984, that great North Carolina team upset, and that was truly an upset by Indiana. And Steve Alford, a young man who just took a job with uh, Southwest Missouri State, going to be an outstanding coach. One and one here for Dollar. That Carolina team was one of the great ones ever to make a Final Four. Without question, has to be one of the low moments in Dean Smith's career. And obviously one of the high ones for Bob Knight. One of two, three-point ruin lead, 6.30 to go. Boy, they are really aware in this zone of where Rutherford is. How many hours they have worked in this zone, keeping an eye on him. Well, a brother for three would tie it. Here he goes. He's been short most of the time. Last touch by UCLA. Well, down in that deep corner, he has been coming out on that time. Henderson, 6'9", coming out. On the other side, O'Bannon. I would wonder if they could set a screen and get him something up higher where he could shoot over a smaller man. He cannot get the shot off down on the baseline. In the lane again, Palma hits the short one. Pierce, three on 
Sean Pierce. One and one at the other end. Five fifty-three on the clock. Jim, one of the things a player has to do within a game, particularly a player like Rutherford, who's having a tough game, two for ten so far, is understand what the defense is giving him. They are not giving him the baseline jump shot. He has to figure out how to come a little higher and get in that crease of the zone where he can get off the good shot. Roberts with the four fouls, with the bruised hip, comes in for Collins. You can see when he sits, Jim, he comes back in with a limp. Needs to get that thing moving again. One and one. And there, the parents of Charles, Madeline, and Ed O'Bannon Sr. Looks like Dad was giving him a little yeah. lecture on how to follow through on that shot. And it's right there with him. Ed Sr., a former wide receiver at UCLA in 1971. Fifty-six, fifty-one. Big country calling for it. Ed O'Bannon running. And the zone getting much more active. Again, matched up against the 6'9 player in the deep corner. Rutherford. Got it this time. Well, he's got some range, I mean, and a quick release. We saw Curtis Staples last week from Virginia with a trick re release. Rutherford right there with him. Ed says, I'll take it. And nothing not swinging on that one. Tim, couldn't we see Pierce's eyes there where he thought that O'Bannon was going to put it on the floor? He just absolutely throws him with that move. Two-pointer gives them the four-point lead, and Big Country says, let's take a timeout. So the Cowboys call a timeout. UCLA leads by four. Billy Packer back in the kingdom. UCLA leads by four. Let's talk strategy here the rest of the way, Billy. Well, Jim, I'm really amazed at the score of this game and the fact that at least at this point, UCLA on top. It has been the game of the tortoise, not the hare. UCLA doing a good job, and they are 23-0 this year when they have their opponent under 80 points at the end of the game. Right now, back, they change their defense, go back to man-to-man. -to -man. Nice switch that time by Edney to Ben Rutherford from getting the jumper. Deontay Roberts, three-pointer. Long board to O'Bannon. Not the shot that Ed Sutton would have wanted coming out of that timeout. He buries his head in his hand. You know that he wanted big country to at least touch the ball on that possession. Ed O'Bannon looking like he wants to take Pierce. He does. Wild with that shot, though. Cowboys cutting Deontay. Off the glass, cuts it to two. Boy, he has a fine game off the bench. Came back off of what looked like a tough injury. Still making all his shots. With the exception of that long jumper, he's hit everything today. Edney's in a hole. Been there all day. What a floor general. 15 for Edney. I think he's been a little bit too unselfish today. Robert. Last touch by Dollar. He was... Trying to feed it over to Big Country. Nice job by Zidick. That could have been his fifth. By the way, Reeves with five in this half after 18 in the first half. They haven't let him touch the ball. Double screen on the clock. Pierce steps in behind the back. Reeves. Got it. That was a beautiful play by Pierce. Didn't know he had it in him, Jim. Behind the back while he was in the air. Only way he could have gotten the ball there. 60, 58, UCLA. Edney again penetrating. He's 
He's now taking advantage of the dribble penetration. Watch Pierce here. The only way he could possibly have gotten the ball there. Nice job of concentration by Brian Reeves and the fact that you'd think that that shot would be go up. You take your eye off it, but he stayed right with it. And then again, the soft hand and the great touch. Pierce at the other end commits his fourth and now is taken out. So Edney at the line for UCLA. Shooting a one and one. He's five of seven today. Young man, Jim, 76% free throw shooter. Just exactly what you want in a point guard because you want him on the line at the end. Double screen, triple screen, trying to get Rutherford open. Rutherford, wow, what a three. Triple screen, Jim, to get him open on the baseline. Look out, Billy, he's warming up now. Very nice play set up by Eddie Sutton. One point Bruin advantage. No call, Eddie steps in, puts the spin on it. Jim, they cannot stop his dribble penetration. And he hasn't been selfish lately, but that's what he's got to do the rest of the way. Timeout called again by Oklahoma State. Cowboys have one timeout remaining, and the Bruins lead at 64-61. Gauntlet, here's Dollar. Watch the screens that happen as Rutherford will come all the way around. Big Country lays the last one on, and we've got a shot. Boom, one screen, two screens, three screens, jump shot. And the man is starting to get on a roll, Jim. Eddie Sutton took Arkansas to the Final Four back in 1978. A 17-year span, not the longest in Final Four history. Ray Meyer, 36 years between Final Fours, and Lou Henson had a 19-year go between New Mexico State and 70. And when you think of Ray Meyer, you think of the Paul battles against Oklahoma A&M, George Mike and Bob Crow, and the first time we ever had monster guys in the middle. That was for the tie. Oklahoma State bench said he should have called a foul on that one. That play on the out of bounds. And now who's got that ball and ready for some dribble penetration. The change defensively by Eddie Sutton. Rutherford moves out on Edney. Owens on Dollar. See if Edney can beat him with the dribble. That's the read. He gives it up to Dollar. He say before the shot. The foul goes against Owens, and that's number four on the point man of the Cowboys. And a tenth team foul, so they're shooting two the rest of the way. Timeout situation. Cowboys with one. UCLA all three. Dollar a 62% free throw shooter. The heir apparent to Edney's point guard position. Jim, still time to think about getting the ball inside and not worry about the three yet. Top four, knocks down two big ones. 66-61, UCLA. They're in the zone, big country. Got to find a hole somewhere in the middle. There he is. It was a good idea. They just couldn't execute it. 115 remaining. Double team. A little double team out front, trying to keep the ball out of Edney's hands. Whistle on Collins. UCLA a minute two away. It's a good free throw shooting team, Jim. Shoots 70% on the year. Charles O'Bannon had an excellent first half. Solid game all around. 73% free throw shooter. So the odds are in UCLA's favor with this quality shooting. Again, two the rest of the way. Double bonus. 
Bruins trying to get back to a championship game. Well, Larry Brown got him there. 1980. A game that has now wiped off the record book. And the NBA record book lost to Louisville. Seven point lead. Now they got to go three. Country. O'Bannon. And Owens fouls out. Edney's really taken over in the end, hasn't he? He really has, Jim. He was patient all day long. He saw early on he could beat Owens with a dribble. Owens now goes out. Young man lasted a long time with three fouls, playing somebody as expert a dribbler as is Edney. But I think what changed this game around is when Edney became a little selfish and put the ball on the floor and did the great dribble penetration that he's so noted for. Not always bad to be uh, a little bit confident of your ability and to take that ball inside, even if it takes maybe some of the other guys out of the offense momentarily. This young man is a great floor general. Two shots for Edney. His father, Hank, brother, Russell, his dad said people have underestimated Tyus because of his size, but Tyus has always been about proving people wrong. Again. Jim, all you can do now is fire from the outside and hope something lands. Block is certainly against him. Zedek fouled by Big Country. Billy, the Chevrolet players of the game, Bryant Reeves of Oklahoma State with 25 and 9. Charles O'Bannon for the Bruins. Looks like Reeves is going to end his career. Two-time Big 8 Player of the Year. MVP of the Eastern Regional. Set some great records. Outstanding collegiate performer that when he first arrived on the scene, and he suddenly thought he'd have to redshirt him. He was going to be a project. Worked his way into the starting lineup. Become one of the school's all-time best. Roberts. Dollar to the line. A double-digit lead for the first time, but not until the final minute. UCLA heading to Monday night. The Bruins took over the lead at 50 to 49 with nine minutes, 10 seconds remaining and held it the rest of the way. Jim, it was kind of interesting. We saw UCLA take those runs of six to eight, 10 points, and then Oklahoma State battle back each time. And sooner or later, you figured they were not going to be able to overcome it. And that's what happened. Eddie Sutton clears the bench. And an exit for one of the all-time players at Oklahoma State, Big Country, Bryant Reeves. He came out of Gans, Oklahoma, when no one else wanted him. Mom. And the O'Bannons can celebrate, and he ends his career in Seattle. Yep. He never even had a plane trip before the first road game for the Cowboys as a freshman. That's right, to the NIT. It made him nervous even thinking about it. Jim, when you think back as a sophomore, that young man led the league, the Big Eight, in scoring and rebounding. 
and was the MVP of the league. That's the first time that anybody had done that since Wilt Chamberlain. It's kind of amazing to think. Wilt, of course, playing in 57 as a sophomore. Then Baum over to Miles, Kevin Miles, Deontay Roberts, who had a big game. That foul called on Oma Givens. Oma Givens, who yesterday showed that he will be a factor for UCLA, watching his athletic talents in practice, not getting the playing time this year, but you'll hear of him before he's out of there. 6'10 freshman. Playing in his home state, he's from Aberdeen, Washington. One more for Roberts, 13 seconds remaining. Well, we might see Coach Wooden after all, Jim, on Monday night, huh? Well, I'd love to see it. He'll be at the All-America game tomorrow, McDonald's High School All-America in St. Louis. Again, between games, Pat, and Quinn, and Coach K have a few comments about this game. We'll hear from the winners and losers and a conversation with Michael Jordan. First game he played on national television was the McDonald's All-American game. Been in a few more since. Well, tonight we'll all readjust our watches. But today in Seattle, UCLA goes back in time. They're heading to the national championship game on Monday night. The final score in game one, UCLA 74, Oklahoma State 61.